way out after council crushes caravan. A man whose caravan and car were seized after he tried to build a BMX ramp on empty land has won a court payout. David Clark thought he was doing local youngsters a favour when he and some friends started to build a BMX ramp on land in Milton in Portsmouth. But the land at Great Salters Quay off Eastern Road was owned by Portsmouth City Council. Council workers went to the site and seized Mr Clark's caravan and car plus fencing he had put there and the wood he had left for the ramp. The car and caravan were taken away and destroyed. And Mr Clark, 57, started a year-long legal battle for £5,000 compensation, which he said was the value of the goods seized. District Judge Charles Ackroyd, sitting at Portsmouth, ruled the council had acted unlawfully and awarded Mr Clark damages. At the first hearing, District Judge Ackroyd delayed the proceedings to give time for Mr Clark's legal representative to arrive once he had informed him that Mr Dave Courtney himself was representing him. During the proceedings, a Tannoy message announced asking would the owner of the white Rolls Royce please remove the vehicle from the court driveway. At the close of the hearing, District Judge looked at Mr Courtney, showing a smile, saying Next time, please park your Rolls Royce in the appropriate place. Mr Clark of Hale and Clove Fairham said, I didn't think the council owned the land, but I told them we were planning to use it. We put a fence up around the property, and there were signs with contact details on. I understand why he only awarded me £400 instead of the £5,000, as I couldn't prove the worth of some of the equipment and the fencing that had been donated to us. Portsmouth City Council argued that he had the right to remove the property by law. But the judge said the fact that the land was clearly occupied by someone meant a notice should have been served on Mr Clark. Now view Dave Clark's playlist on YouTube called Borstal Boy Punk Opera, where Dave Courtney was due to be the compare and narrator.